The most addicting game is Clash of Clans. There are 15 scientific studies proving this, all published by me. This one explains the tutorial. You invade the natives' land, steal their natural resources, clone the creatures you've killed, and force your clones to murder their own kind. Why Cock is the greatest horror game of all time. I claimed in the title I would beat this game. What exactly does beat mean? Beat? 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 Be eating beat be beat? I could get top place on the leaderboard, but as a scientist, I discovered a secret in the game. In the top right corner, there is a tree. If you click it five times, uninstall the game, go outside, touch grass, reinstall the game, flip your phone five times, this was harder on monitor, and you will have unlocked the single player campaign. Instead of dealing with other humans, I'm going to beat the single player's final boss, the golden dragon. If I fail this mission, I will reveal why my voice sounds like this. The first level is called Cannonball Run. Four expertly handcrafted cannons ready to destroy my army and play Tchaikovsky. But they have the same weakness as a man giving his wife a thousand dollars for new shoes for her boyfriend. They're spineless. This lack of neck means they cannot look upward, so they can't see my giant fire-breathing dragon. You might think this is overkill, but I had eight dragons in reserve. I was holding back. They created a perimeter of trees to block my flight. Maybe they thought they could construct cannon necks while my dragons got stuck in the tree. Little did they know. I did year nine chemistry, where I learned that wood is not fire resistant. The reason this is easy so far is because I haven't played the single player since I was Town Hall 2. Now I'm Town Hall 7, which used to be quite respectable when I last played the game eight years ago. Now I am the worst player in the game. To improve my base, I'm upgrading a bomb. How do you upgrade a bomb? I like to imagine they open the bomb and throw in a few iPhones looping TikToks to increase psychological damage to those who step on it. The goblins now have some structure to their bases. The gold is protected in the middle and the civilians are on the front lines. I'll need two dragons this time. Wait, there are Clash of Clans esports? That must be so lame. Is it five dudes sitting in a corner? Wait, he's only got five seconds left. Oh, he loses it. Does that mean the red guys win? Oh, yep, I think he won. All right, that was kind of hype. I'll need at least Town Hall level eight to join though. For the next level, I want to at least respect that they built walls. So I'm only using my Barbarian King, no dragon. Imagine a 15 foot Hulk Hogan destroying your house, then spawning smaller versions of himself to eat your food. 30 stars in the campaign now. The more I get, the more gems I get. With 2000 gems, I can finally purchase my fifth builder. He can then start building the ultimate project. Building a Windows activation key. When you name your base Brute Force, you give me an excuse to use my dragon. I felt bad that there are innocent goblins burning in their home, so then I hired some archers to finish them off quickly instead of letting them melt. See, they needed three bombs to kill my units because they didn't put TikToks inside. The time has come, the legacy foretold. The goblins have built an air defense. My dragons have an opponent. I need help. I was donated hog riders by a man with a name impossible to pronounce. How do I know it's a man? It's going to be a while before this sport is gender equal. The hog riders tore apart the city, screaming their own name the whole time. It was at this moment I realized 110 million people have wanted the experience of becoming a hog rider and I have no judgments about that. I've set my own scientists to discover how we can possibly ride hogs. Using only dragons has caused an unemployment crisis. Our society is built on war. Without war we can't sell our weapons to the enemy. So I conscripted all able-bodied men who all look the same. Worse things than eugenics have been done for the pursuit of money. Every unemployed man is on the battlefield. The women did not agree to charge into the front lines because they had spines. Four air defenses actually well defended. It's a good thing I swapped to regular troop. I'll use my rage spell first. It's liquefied propaganda that makes them believe the goblins called their mother bad at cooking. They could have never failed. I kept using the strategy, sending hundreds of careerly challenged men at cannons under the lies that the cannons stole their ham sandwich. I convinced the women to join by giving them bows and saying they get to sit back and watch the men charge headfirst into cannon. The levels are now getting me to use half my total army. This may eventually get different. Difficult. Maybe I can check on the esports scene to see what real competition is like. Wait, that's the team that lost. They're back in it? I did some research, let me explain. This guy is part of the team Tribe Gaming who beat the team QW Stephanie, getting Tribe into the final. Then QW had to fight multiple elimination rounds to get back at a final chance. Now this is their last chance to make it to the finals and reface Tribe. QW Klaus has to get 100% on the base. He has five seconds left. Everything has to die. He's not gonna do it. Oh! Tear down all your strongholds!
Worlds. This is my new favorite sport. I beat a level named after the most deadly day in World War II, the landing of Normandy. I'm surprised Suppurk L went there. I beat more and more levels until I got to one named after a chess defense. I'm not smart enough for that, so it's time I upgrade my town hall. Going from the worst player to still the worst player, everyone else is on town hall 10 or more. I have to wait 24 hours before it's done. Mm, I'm impatient. I'm going to attack the chessboard anyway, but I should learn more about the Sicilian defense. Teach me, YouTube. In today's chess opening video, you're gonna learn the Sicilian defense. First, you should not be playing the Sicilian. In this video, I'm not gonna cover the Sicilian. I feel as though I covered everything in as much detail as I could. Never have I been more offended by a YouTube video. But weirdly, I feel like I learned something. I didn't play the Sicilian. I played with my people's emotions. Telling them chess causes inflation. I beat a bunch more levels before getting to one with a gold storage in the center. A peace offering. Take our gold and leave us alone. But I'm not motivated by gold. The only thing I want is to get to the final level so my YouTube video has a satisfying ending. Which means you all need to die. They finally have golden walls. But I have a new kind of propaganda. One that calls hog riders out on skipping leg day. They had no chance. The next level is called Full Frontal. I'm not sure what to accept. Oh god! This is a kid's game! I guess that's why they call it cock. Now the only thing you can look at is my activate windows watermark. I like it, but some of you hate it. And since you love to see me suffer, I have tried to activate windows. But my greatest video of all time only earned me $34. A windows key costs $339, I think. It's confusing. So here's the deal. If you give me money via Patreon, I'll activate windows. Of course, there's no pressure to do so. I'll continue making this free content forever. But have you laughed during this or any of my videos? Did you know that laughter is the best medicine? The best medicine. Better than heart surgery and crystal healing combined. I know I would pay $1 for cancer curing content, but I'm just a good person. Back to treating goblins like pests, even though they obviously have the intellectual capabilities of humans. I beat 10 more levels, went to sleep, and dreamt about spined cannon, and woke up to Town Hall 8. Now I can finally build the ultimate troop, the Pekka. There was a competition held for the abbreviation for it. Mine didn't win for some reason. It's incredibly powerful and I can use it to attack in 60 hours. At least with an upgraded Town Hall, my hogs are a higher level now. After a few more battles, I am up to the levels where Town Hall 9 is recommended. I am finally above my pay grade. Black walls, gigantic cannons capable of playing symphonies. I told the hogs that inside was protein powder and they charged in and died a miserable death. I'm failure. Guess I can finally use the other half of my army. I've made it to Pekka's Playhouse. This was the final single player level in the game when I played 8 years ago. 40 hogs and 40 riders. Fought for 40 days and 40 nights. Unlike Noah who found land, they died in a ditch forever damned. I can't watch anymore. The only thing that could cheer me up is Clash of Clans Esports. This is it. After climbing their way back into the finals, it's Klaus's turn to attack again. Can he get another 100%? His army has 15 different units to attack with. The archer is the last defending tower. Can he get it? Another three star for Klaus. This man inspires me. He hits two stars 99% of the time. All I needed to win was inspiration and giant fire breathing dragon. Since energy cannot be destroyed or created, the fire must come from somewhere. I believe their wings are giant solar panels and we killed the dragons for their technology. Big tech assassinated Spyro. I then started using actual strategy instead of just spamming the strongest unit I own. A giant to distract the towers while wall breakers explode the entrance. Then hundreds of barbarians charge in and get exploded by a mortar. Okay, strategy is useless. I mean, technically I did win. I got two stars. Until now, I've always 100% destroyed the base. But to gain victory, all you need is one star, which can be gotten by either destroying 50% of the base or destroying just the town hall. If Klaus is judged on his two star rating, I can move on with only two stars. Next level, I went back to dragon. I'm not a dragon. Dragoon is a separate thing. Anyone who calls me a dragon is banished. I got another two stars. These levels are now recommended for town hall 10 but it doesn't matter how difficult they are if the town hall is on the very edge. I did more and more battles. I won by getting a single star. I'm almost up to the golden dragon. But more importantly, QW's definitely have their final defense against Tribe. And they only got an 85%, which means QW has one more attack to become world champions. They have come second place the last two years in a row. And the final attacker is the one who messed it up in the first clip I showed, causing him to battle for so long to get here. Yuta14 has his chance for redemption and glory. He just did a crunch in his seat. Can he do it? He's gone for the early balloon release. He needs 94% to win. It doesn't look good. His Archer Queen is low. Oh, she goes invisible. It's got it. It's got it. It's got it. It's got it. Do it. World Champions. Yes. I don't even remember what this video was about. My voice sounds like this because I've been screaming at Cock Esports all week.